Hi everyone, welcome to the line Cloud Nine. I'm Jacqueline Rose, and you're watching My Thoughts Exactly. Today I want to talk to you uh, about reality. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I want to talk to you about illusion to reality. I want to talk to you about what life really is like. And, uh, you know, these are my thoughts and that's all they are. So to each their own, let me know what your thing is about this idea. What do you think? But let's start with, it might seem like to a lot of people that I have this wicked cool life and that I have so many wonderful and happy and amazing things happening in my life and I have a perfect life and nothing ever goes wrong. <laughs> and I want you to know that every single person in the world right now is going through something. We don't get an out. Even, I mean, you can pick someone that you think, I don't know, maybe you would think uh, a billionaire who's famous and rich and blah, blah, blah has everything in posts. Maybe if you saw their posts, I don't know, I don't look, but maybe they post the most happiest, wonderful things ever in the whole world and look at how perfect their life is. And you sit there and you fantasize about how maybe yours could be like that. And I want you to know that that's silly because that person is simply not sharing the bad things that are happening in their life. It's impossible to completely relieve yourself of conflict and be in a perfect life. And I feel like from my personal experiences because my life started out up until more recently I did not have a good life I believe that a lot of that had to do with myself like I was the reason I didn't have a good life and once I realized all of that and some more things I was able to turn that around and do something about it. And so I think more recently in my life, I've probably have the most, the best and most wonderfulest things that have ever happened to me, happened to me. But that doesn't come without maybe perhaps some of the worst things that I think I've ever had to deal with happened to me too and just because I don't talk about them because I I don't I don't think that people would take me correctly uh I don't know if you know people some people might even not believe me <laughs> I know that happens online and I I don't feel like getting discredited f for what I am going through in such a strong way, especially to think that someone might even believe it's not true. Um, and, you know, so other things like people would never truly understand what it's like to go through these things unless they were me 
you know, and because you shouldn't dwell on those things and you shouldn't make them part of who you are. You should make the good things in your life part of who you are and you should focus on those things and give those energy and allow them for more room to grow because if it's only up from here with more more wonderful things, then I look forward to the wonderful things. You know, even if this yin-yang thing is true and that perhaps some of the worst things are yet to come also, I still think that the good outweighs the bad, you know? But even still, the reason that I am sharing this with you is in hopes to help you see something that I didn't see at first and that took me a while to learn. It took me a while to learn that you're the reason you're happy and no one else is and you're the reason you're sad and uh, nothing else is and you have a choice to feel the way you want to feel about anything and everything and you have the choice to let those things go or make them your daily thoughts or sit around and stew about them or get up and do something important you know and I'm not discrediting anything you're going through because it's not easy to do that but the more that you can learn to do that I think the better your life is overall and I think that it's mature to not talk about the bad things in your life I haven't been I don't talk about the things that are going wrong in my life and I intend to keep it that way because of all those reasons of so many reasons and you know I don't even if you're going through the same things that I'm going through you can't know and understand what it really feels like unless you're me and I can't really know and understand what it feels like that you're going through unless I'm you. So, I don't see what would benefit me or anyone for me to talk about the things going wrong in my life. And, you know, a lot of those things can involve other people and it's not my place to involve other people with my, with other people, you know? Like, I'm not gonna tell other people about what's, what, what people might be going through because that's in my place and these things can involve other people. But I just really wanna share with you that my life isn't perfect, dude. Like, it's not. <laughs> perfect. No one's life is perfect. So if you're fair, if you're sitting there in dream world, set down your fairy tale and take a look at your own life and take a look at all the good things in it and be grateful for them. Be grateful you've got to spend time with that person that might not be here anymore. Be grateful that you learned something from the way that somebody treated you. Be grateful that you have family that at least talks to you. At least that. I guess, you know? If nothing else, you know? And love yourself and love your life that you're that you're going through it's your journey and so make it yours you know <laughs> do you want it to be cradled in the basement crying all the time <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that but wouldn't you rather just be doing the things that you like to do and if you don't know what those things are 
you need to figure them out. <laughs> That's what you need to do. That's your next step. That's your homework. You need to figure out what you like. You need to do more of it. And if it's watching television, not that you, sh not that you can't, not that that can't be your thing, but I do think that doesn't make you happy. You know, like it might, you might enjoy it. You might get some enjoyment out of that, but you're not creating and giving to the world. And I find a lot of, I find the most gratitude out of things that I, I do for other people, things that I create for other people. Like if I make a painting or, or sculpt something and, you know, someone can enjoy it, then I get more out of that than I do like painting my nails, you know? Maybe someone would enjoy that too. And so you can get enjoyment out of them enjoying that too. But I don't know. I just, I'm just uh, hoping that this, these thoughts help somebody because I've been in the position, you know, my life didn't start off great, like I said, and it wasn't really good at all until more recently, but now it seems to be the worst it's been too. And so it's like a mixture of both and it's it's quite awkward, but I don't talk about that because I don't think it would benefit anyone. And then I got to thinking how it could benefit you all from me saying at least this. I don't have to tell you what I'm struggling with or what's going on in my life or how many things are going on I don't have to give you a number especially if it's over five no I'm just kidding no there's there's just everyone's going through things and if you know that I think it will help you so that's what I'm saying and I'm sorry that you're going through these things I'm really sorry because I can't imagine how you feel, because I don't know. But I know that you're hurting, because we all are. I know you're hurting, and I'm sorry. And I hope that watching this gets through in a way that makes you feel better, even if just for a minute. And perhaps even longer, you know? Perhaps people will take this and go for miles with it, you know? An interesting thing with that is I used to think that there were certain people in my life that were really, really smart. And I'm like, wow, these people are like geniuses. And then I discovered that an interesting thing about them that was similar is that they all didn't think that about themselves. They all didn't believe that they were intelligent. In fact, they don't think that it's even possible to get to a point where they thought they were intelligent because, get this, the more they learned, the more they realized that the pool to learn is endless. It doesn't end. So there's no way that you can sit around and gain all the information in the world about even one topic. You know, you can't even sit around and gain everything there is to know about grass, you know, like, or water. There's still things we're learning now and like it never ends. And like people who are passionate about it are like, we don't even know water. We know this, it's a weird substance that gives life to everything. Like, everything needs water, but everything that's alive. And, but then, also, it holds memory. Like, we found out that it holds memory. Like, what if, like, what if, like, memory from your ancestors. And so, like, what if, you know, like, all these strange concepts and and that's just the the cusp of it we we still don't understand that or know if it's true about some of those things and so even water 
like there's so much to know about everything that once you realize that once you start learning you're like oh wow um that's overwhelming there's like this doesn't end you know like when do i stop learning uh, when do i become an expert and honestly you just don't end learning you you understand that there is no end to learning and and if you find an end you will you'll stop being intelligent and so the most intelligent people in the world think they're stupid they start to think they're stupid because well maybe not stupid but they they start to realize how much how little they know right they start to realize how little they know and so they're more open-minded to the concept that they could know nothing at all and so they keep gaining knowledge and adding more to their arsenary of brain power and that's why they're intelligent and that's why i look at them and go wow these people are so smart so it's okay to feel overwhelmed to feel sad to feel bad about yourself in any way but i encourage you to try to move past those feelings you know it's okay to feel them but then work through them and move past them and then do something that makes you feel good about yourself do something that helps you even if it's learning something small like just like I said, it never ends. So start somewhere and you'll get better at it. People who are experts at things know enough to answer your questions and any of your questions. But if you knew as much as they knew about it, you could ask the questions they don't know, if that makes sense. And so you would know so much as to what they know that you would ask the question that they don't know. Like you'd, you'd get to the certain point. Because like an example of that is if you're learning about birds we're gonna say birds if you're learning about birds different species of birds let's because there's so many things you could learn about birds but we'll just say different species of birds so let's say you you know different species of birds well uh, or you want you want to learn about them so you you might ask what's a robin look like what's a hawk look like what's a loon look like what's a swan look like what do they all do you know what is what are the things about these birds but you haven't even gotten to the birds that you have never heard of or that most people have never heard of. You haven't even asked that question yet because you're still trying to figure out the robins, you know, like you're still learning that. And so you can't even ask a bird expert about the birds that you don't even know. You haven't gotten there yet. And so it don't be overwhelmed with that concept. Just understand it so that you can start somewhere with something that you love and learn about it so if you love birds start learning about birds and just start now doesn't you don't have to be good at it now you're just starting so just learn and the more you start to learn all of a sudden in a year or two you're gonna be asking the expert questions they don't know you know you don't know you could i mean i don't that's just a hypothetical situation guys <laughs> but I hope it helps. You know, it's like a little metaphor or something, like a little story to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So ultimately, I hope that this sharing these things with you helps you, you know, all these things, everything on my channel. I hope it helps you in some way. I hope that you learn something that you'll take and you'll go farther with than I did by just what I'm telling you, like, listen to the things that I might have to say and take them and go even deeper with them. Go beyond what I can do because you can, because you can do anything. And I hope that this makes you feel better about your life. There's no time that you have to start learning or, or making your life better. It can be some people are 50 and they start going to college and then they become successful doctors or whatever they want to be, you know. So you can start now and you can start later too. But the sooner you start, the farther you're going to be in your life before you get to a point where it might be difficult to do. And if you are already there, you can still do something. So feel better about yourself and know that everyone's struggling. 
You're not alone. Somebody out there loves you. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Even if you don't think so, you're, you're silly to not think so. Everyone loves some someone, you know, so... I hope this helps you, and if you feel like no one loves you, I do. Hit me up. I'm here for you. I'm. I have a big heart, and I will come give you some uh, some love, whatever you. <laughs> I don't want to sound wrong, uh, but you can, you know, you can talk to anyone, and if they respond, then there's some type of acknowledgement there. There's some connection there, and. The world's not over, so it took me a long time to understand some of these things, and I'd wished I had learned them sooner, so if I'm helping you learn them sooner or later, then I'm I'm thankful that I did that, and it's because I'm happy that I've helped you not feel so bad. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Let me know in the comments what you think, and you know, Maybe some of the things that you feel about struggles and how maybe how you overcome your struggles. That's a good one. Uh, like so that I know you like this video and I should keep making more content like this. Uh, subscribe so I know the same and it helps my channel. And share if you think someone else will benefit from this. Thank you for joining me today. I hope your day is as, is as beautiful as you are and I'll see you next time.